Hey guys, KRX50 here with another review. This time I'll be reviewing the D Terminal from Digimon Digital Monsters. This is an item from the second season, also known as Digimon Adventure Zero 2 in Japan, that was used by the Digi Destin to keep in contact to store their Digi Eggs and was also used as a Digimon encyclopedia. And so let's take a look. So here we have it in nice painted silver plastic, which is, well, grey painted silver with some red plastic for the buttons and uh, a little bit of black on the side. You've got the cover which has the Digi the original Digimon logo painted onto it and the back is not really anything to look like. Opening it up we see the LCD, dis the LCD screen right here and up here is basically a translator from English to Digicode. So to turn on, you hold down this button and get that animation right there. And you got a rotating Digimon logo and so to get to the menu just press any button. So in the menu we have a few different options database translate game versus battle and system so starting off with the main feature the database from there you can view Digimon by name number card or connect with a D3 to access Digimon data Now the easiest way is to go by name because Digimon numbers are not easy to memorize and well, card numbers are a fickle thing because you have to actually have to have the cards that were made at this time. The database as far as I know was basically it goes up to the second season mid season because the furthest it the furthest it features within those Digimon limits is the DNA digivolutions of the main characters. But it also features Digimon out of Digimon the movie. For example, you have Rapidmon. Now another thing you can do is from there you've got a few options. You can just look at the figure, which is the just the Digimon itself, you can hit name to look at its name and number. Go level to see what level it is. And within this armor is armor and Digimon are re are regarded as a completely separate level from any other. You can look at its group, its type. data size, the technique, or tech, and you can access different digivolutions. And you can then digivolve it, and if you have the option, you can digivolve it in different ways. So then there's a translate feature which allows you to translate words from English to Digicode. So you just type in your word. Then you will go up to the beginning and hit end. Then across the screen, we'll scroll that word in Digicode. And switching back to English, just hit the enter button again.
And you can just go back by pressing the back button. It has two games. The first, game A. Is a kind of shooter game. Where you gotta shoot these targets as they come across the screen. And every time you miss one, the amount of time you have left takes a decrease. So you gotta hit as many targets as you can before time runs out. And at the end, you'll get your score. The second game is a puzzle. Where then you're given a random Digimon, then it scrambles up them into several pieces, and you have to rearrange them to put the Digimon back together again. Just by switching two pieces around. And then... Put it together. And like that, you've got a Digimon, in this case, Vedamon. If you press the enter button again, you'll get another one. And it keeps going until you hit the back button, and then say that you give up. For versus battle, you enter a, uh, just, uh, enter what's apparently called a call, which I don't really know much about. Honestly, I can't really do the versus battle because I don't really know what, how to do it. But, uh, I might... Actually, no, I can't because I'm pretty sure this involves having a D3 and I do not have a D3 with me. The system is also pretty simple. You have sound, which lets you switch the sound on or off. And the contrast, which gives you the contrast, which lets you select the contrast between light and dark on the screen. So like I said, you can additionally connect it to a D3 to access data or do a battle. And that's basically all there is to it. Funny story about this. I bought one of these when I was really young, and I actually lost it for some time, and one time I went to a garage sale, found one, and bought it. Then a while later, I found my old one, and so now I have two. Now, they might not look different, but the new, the newer one I have has, like, a problem with the screen where it's not quite the correct color, but the volume is a higher pitch. Though it is, though the latch on the cover isn't really secure and it's got a lot more scratches. But if somebody's interested and if I get a good enough offer, I may be willing to sell one of these. I usually don't sell things, but you'd really only need one of these to be satisfied. So I might just sell this one if I get a good enough offer. If you're interested in buying one of these for me, just PM me and we might, we may be able to work something out. So, getting back to the review, this is a nice toy. It's a good accessory for anyone who's interested in Digimon. And is, and likely it does its part to complement the G3 Digivice. It's got a nice data. It's got a nice, pretty good database, which is a little bit dated, but it still is quite nice. And the whole translation thing is pretty cool. I mean, it's kind of a thing for Digimon only fans, the whole translation thing, but it's still nice. And the games aren't too bad as well. So overall, I definitely recommend this to Digimon fans of all kind.
So please rate, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff, and check out my blog at krx50.blogspot.com. And for now, this is KRX50, writing off.